Hello everybody, and a very warm welcome to LMT YouTube channel. Some more updates for you tonight. Inside the Belmoral summer trip, Archie will enjoy with the Queen from TV marathons and BBQs to doing the washing up. Meghan Markle and Prince Harry may have left royal duties, but they will still get to experience one of the innermost sanctums of the royal family, the Balmoral summer holiday, if the coronavirus crisis is over. Every year, the Queen, her family and some hand-selected guests make their way to their sprawling Scottish castle to let their hair down away from the public. Last year, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex declined an invite to the posh countryside retreat, saying Archie, who was four months old at the time, was too young. But what can the couple expect to experience at the Queen's favorite home this summer if, hopefully, the coronavirus crisis is over and they can leave their Canadian mansion, where they are currently self-isolation? Who will be on the royal guest list? While the Queen and Prince Philip would take their four children to Balmoral with them every year when they were growing up, the couple now invite their grandchildren and their families to join them during their summer break. The Fab Four could be reunited once more, although if Meghan and Harry's seemingly frosty Commonwealth Service run-in with Kate and William was anything to go by, it might not be all jolly holidays. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex will meet Prime Minister Boris Johnson and his fiancée Harry Simmons, who also visited last year. Prime Ministers are often extended an exclusive invite, and Tony Blair once eye-openingly described the trip as a vivid combination of the intriguing, the surreal, and the utterly freaky. Meanwhile, an official for Margaret Thatcher said she couldn't get away fast enough. The Queen is so strict about maintaining her family's privacy at Balmoral that she rarely lets photographers into her summer home, but allowed Kate Middleton to take some photos during her first ever trip. What will Meghan and Prince Harry do at Balmoral? Meghan and Harry will certainly start their day with a bang, as the Queen is woken up by a bagpiper playing under her window for 15 minutes at 9 a.m. every morning. According to Princess Eugenie, her Madge is the most happy at Balmoral, with a typical day involving walks, picnics, and a lot of dogs. The Queen is often seen riding horses or driving her beloved Range Rover over the estate's rugged terrain. Animal lover Meghan may raise her eyes at some of the sports on offer, with hunting grouse and fly fishing being much-loved group activities at the summer retreat. Harry, who was taught to hunt from a young age, may decide to join in, although baby Archie will certainly be too young to learn the ropes. All the servants, indoors and outdoors staff, are invited, and a gamekeeper or footman can find themselves dancing opposite their sovereign. One courtier said about the ball, Her Majesty is still a nimble mover on the dance floor. Her favorite dance is the dashing white sergeant, Royal author Juliet Ridham also recently claimed that Balmoral is where the Queen enjoys a normal existence and even helps her staff with the washing up. Juliet said, This is where she loves to be. This is holiday time for the Queen. She always said this is where she feels most herself and feels most free. When they are out having their barbecues, which they love to do out in the grounds of Balmoral, it's a massive estate, the most beautiful grounds, where they literally set up a barbecue. Prime Minister Margaret Thatcher was so shocked at witnessing the Queen doing the washing up with bare hands that she is said to have sent her a pair of rubber gloves. Where do the royals all stay at Balmoral? The Queen and Philip, if he is well enough, usually spend the first week of their Balmoral summer at the much more private Craigowan Lodge a seven-bedroom guest house about a mile from the castle. One mini-break within their major break. Then they head to the main Scottish castle of Balmoral, which has been in the royal family since 1852, and boasts over 50,000 acres of land, with a whopping 52 bedrooms. 
Meghan and Harry could then be free to spend time staying in the castle with the Earl and Countess of Wessex, who love taking their children to Balmoral. The castle is estimated to be worth a cool $201 million, according to Business Insider, and is classified by Historic Scotland as a Category A listed building, and costs around $4 million annually to run. What do the royals eat at Balmoral? The Queen may have a chef to prepare meals each day as you'd imagine, but is said to enjoy indulging in a local takeaway from time to time at Balmoral too. For the Queen, afternoon tea is the most important refreshment of the day and would be when she would expect Harry and Meghan and any other members of the family to gather around her. The Sovereign is very exacting about the way the actual drink is made, according to Prince Charles. The prince told a guest at a party in Scotland that the tea time ritual is sacrosanct for his mother and said, in our family everything stops for tea. I have never known a family so addicted to it. What traditions does the Queen follow at Balmoral? There is no shortage of visual entertainment at Balmoral, if you don't mind watching old TV programs with the Queen. The Bill, the Queen favorite show, will be on hand. When the Queen arrives at Balmoral for her annual break in the Highlands, she knows there will always be a collection of recordings of favorite TV programs, waiting for her in the form of a series of DVDs neatly stacked in her private sitting room. Each year, the monarch's private secretary sends a list of the shows she would like to see to the Special Services Department at the BBC, which puts together a collection, both from its own output and from the independent channels, the Queen's arrival at her 50,000-acre Scottish estate always begins with an inspection of a guard of honor from the Royal Highland Fusiliers, second battalion, who make up part of her protection while she's there. Another practice which has been kept up through her reign is, strangely, the royal inspection of the sandwiches given to the troops who guard her at the castle. Years ago, the Queen told the commanding officer that she wanted to see that the soldiers' food was up to standard, says a Balmoral insider. Ever since then, she inspects the packed lunches of all the regiments who serve her during her stay by visiting the kitchens to sample their sandwiches. Those that don't make the grade are sent back. And so on to other news and... Prince Harry postpones the Invictus Games. Duke of Sussex posts emotional video message saying he took incredibly difficult decision to make sensible and safe choice to push competition back to 2021. The Duke of Sussex announced that the 2020 Invictus Games, which was due to be held next month, has been called off because of the coronavirus pandemic. Organizers said the competition founded by Prince Harry, due to take place at The Hague this year, was likely to be rescheduled to May or June 2021. Harry said in an emotional video on Twitter, I'm really sorry we couldn't make this happen. This was an incredibly difficult decision for all of us to have to make. He added that it was the most sensible and the safest option for all of you, for your families and everybody else involved in these games. I know how disappointed you all must be, this is a focus that so many of you need. I would encourage you to maintain that focus as best you can. Harry, who is currently in isolation with his wife Meghan and son Archie in Canada, added, The good news is that you have an extra 12 months to get even fitter. Prince Harry makes difficult decision to postpone Invictus Games. Hi guys, as you've all now heard, sadly we've had to postpone the Invictus Games and move it to 2021. This was an incredibly difficult decision for all of us to have to make uh, and I'm so grateful for everybody that's worked so hard over the last couple of weeks to try and find any alternative to try uh, and carry out these games in a, in a different, different way, in a safe way. But this decision uh, was the most sensible and the safest option for all of you, for your families and everybody else involved in these games. Um, I know how disappointed you must all be. Uh, this is a focus that so many of you need. I would encourage you to maintain that focus uh, as best you can. Um, 
The good thing is you have an extra 12 or so months to be even fitter, to get even fitter than you already are, to be at your absolute top mental and physical fitness. Um, so in that sense, I'm really excited about uh, the games next year. Um, I'm sorry that we couldn't uh, that we couldn't provide this for you. Please look after yourselves. Uh, please look after your families. Please look out for one another. Um, you guys are all in these chat groups. You know you know who to look out for. Um, so please take take care of yourself, but do what you do best, which is reaching out to other people. Uh, be it those that still wear the uniform, those that used to wear the uniform, or just those people in your community who you know may be suffering or may be vulnerable during this period. Um, do what you do best. Um, and we will do everything that we can to get you a date uh, and a time for you to show up next year uh, and you'll be the first to know. So again, I'm really sorry that we couldn't make this, couldn't make this happen, but, um, but take care, look after yourselves, and I'll catch up with you soon. Thanks. A competition brings together current and former wounded, injured or sick servicemen and women from more than 20 countries. Prince Harry, who served with the British military in Afghanistan, was set to travel to the Netherlands with the Duchess of Sussex to attend the event. An Indictus Games Foundation spokesman said, The decision was also taken in recognition of the anticipated strain on medical staff and the infrastructure required in dealing with the pandemic. We did not wish to add to the complexity of the response or increase the risk to those involved by bringing together an international and potentially vulnerable audience. Organizers said they are investigating all options to reschedule the Indictus Games, subject to the availability of key facilities and resources, to May or June 2021. We are the latest in a series of sporting events to be cancelled due to the coronavirus outbreak, including the Euro 2020 Football Championships. Harry was in The Hague last year to mark one year until the Games, and was presented with a romper suit for his then newborn son Archie. The games would have been one of his first public appearances since he and his wife Meghan withdrew from royal duties. The Netherlands has reported 2,460 coronavirus cases, including 76 deaths. Harry was inspired to found the global tournament after attending the Warrior Games in Colorado in 2013. At the event he saw how injured American military personnel thrived on the challenge of taking part in competitive sports that aided their recovery. He went on to stage the inaugural Games in London's Olympic Park in 2014, followed by Orlando in 2016, Toronto in 2017 and Sydney in 2018. Thanks for listening. Don't forget to like. That would be fantastic and press that notification bell if you would like to be notified in the future when I upload videos. Don't stop.